Always a pretty good sleep up in this rooftop tent. It's just so flat and spacious. Room is spread out. Freaking great. Not so good in the cold by yourself. That's why Mark usually gets in when it's cold. Checking if these midges are crawling into my freaking tent. Oh god, I've been bitten on the arms. There's one there. <sighs> it's just ridiculous. I make a swag with bloody insect mesh that lets midges through it. Like the holes are big enough that the sand flies go through it. The fact that I left the actual, the whole zipper open for half the night probably didn't help it with the uh, sand flies. So coffee time. We've just um, thrown the uh, bit of water in the jet boil there. And a couple of little uh, preloaded drip filters, dog and gun. Pretty excited about this coffee. Tried it once before, but we didn't have any milk, so I'm gonna put a bit of milk on top of it. Today's plan is to get out of here eventually. We've done a quick tidy up of camp. We're just about to jump in the boat, go fishing for an hour or two. Uh, we've got to pull the crab pots in, so we'll check them. And uh, then we're going to go back to the spot Yesayava where Mark dropped his big fish and see if we can't entice him out of his snag at high tide. Uh, from there, we're going to leave the station. We're going to head back to Normanton, grab some fuel. And then we're going to be heading north. Uh, we're hoping to make it probably to the Mitchell River. Um, and then see if we can get across that. We, we spoke to the station owners and they were a little dubious whether we'd get across there, but that's the plan. Seems our boat has become slightly entangled in the mangroves here. I'm just trying to work out the best way to get to it. We've, top, we've got a rope tied to it, but it's like wrapped around the mangrove, around the motor, and back it to the boat. Yeah, okay. Yep, do that. Nearly. It's that easy. So I've just pulled up at uh, the spot yesterday where we... Secret Creek. Secret Creek. Which is the Jew Hole. The Jewy Hole. Well, we caught something here. We're assuming it's a Jewy. But today they are not here. Not like they were yesterday anyway. They look like fish, I wouldn't say. Yeah, there they are. Righto. Okay, that's good. Well, we found them, we're flicking at that. Yes? It's whatever you caught yesterday, too. Yeah, it's moving around a lot, isn't it? Yep. Heavy. Give me some serious hurry. I'm just gonna get this right out the back here. Are we on anchor? Ah! Oh! I don't want to talk about it today, that's ridiculous. That's bullshit, we came back, we hooked the same fish Mark hooked yesterday. Like, actual, the actual same fish. There's more in there and they're on the chew.
fruit mullet was always going to catch something. Somebody was going to have a go at it. We were just hoping it wasn't a catfish. Oh, it's not a, the Trevally. Oh, Queenie. The Queenie. That'll do. There's Nummus. So we've got a little queen fish. Little queen fish on the vibe. So just hitting the bottom, vibing it up, hitting the bottom every time. And, um, he just nailed it on the on the bottom. Taking on the drop, or? Uh, it sort of felt like he t took it on the drop there. Yeah. Yep. Come on. Giant queen fish. You realise I'm on that? Good job. Oh, it's that catfish. You're always going to catch catfish on the bottom, aren't you? Is that on that strip bait? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mate, why would you do that to yourself? Catfish on the strip bait? Um, I mean, we didn't really want to catch him. No, not really. Put a little bit of something pulling. We just fished that spot, same spot we had yesterday, and same result, unfortunately. Um, well, no, we got a queen fish, a couple of catfish, I hooked the fish, dropped it, um, and we got a couple of taps. So, similar result, we didn't get that, whatever that is that towed us up yesterday, it towed us up again today. Yep. Um, so, we flicked there for a bit longer, we got a couple more hits, but it's gone a little bit cold. We're gonna burn upstream about 10 minutes, five minutes, yep. five minutes and um, have a look at a spot yesterday that was pretty good as well. And then we're pretty much gonna have to call it, but it's our last, what do they say, last hurrah, last... Yep, last chance. Last, last, last throw band. of the dice. Last throw of the dice. Let's see how we go, do it. Wedgetail eagle soaring over the salt pans of the Gulf of Australia. <laughs> right, that's it, mate. Go get this boat out of the water. Yep. It's gonna be um, not too bad, I reckon, with this high tide. Oh, we're gonna get crab pots, yeah? Grab, grab our crab pots, get the boat out of the water. Mate, we could have 20 crabs for all we know. Nose us into that um, point over there. I'll jump off, jump in my car. I'll drive around and you can stay in the boat and um, chuck it on the back, eh? That sounds easy, mate. Right, let's do that. That sounds easy. So you can, you'll have to guide me back a little bit as well. Yep. So easy. So, um, Mark's just out in the boat there. I was going to drive around this salt pan, which is a lot wetter than yesterday because of that high tide. Um, but should be no problems getting around it. And then um, I'll poke down and back the trailer in. Mark's going to guide us in on the radio on the boat. And uh, hopefully it's as simple as him driving on. But, uh, yeah, at least the tide is high today. It's going to help us a lot, so let's do it. Oh man, good to come back, eh? Yeah man, come back when you're ready. I'm just gonna line up and give you some better directions. Yeah, 
right hand down still. Now chase it around and straighten it up. A hard, hard left hand down. Yep, keep going, keep going. Right hand down. Stop there. Come and have a look at that. It looks pretty level and we're probably in a fraction more than we were yesterday. Yeah, no worries mate. I um as long as like the other thing we don't want to drop it too far over that ledge so then we have to drag the wheels back over with the weight of the boat. Uh yeah, it's gonna be a balancing act. Because if you go too far, yeah, we'll we will we will not pull it out. Yeah right, I'll jump out now. Man, hopefully it just comes up and out, eh? Yeah, well, I don't think it will. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, hopefully. So we've got the boat on. Um, now we've just got to see if we can drag it up this bank. See if Land Cruiser will drag it up the bank or not. When you ready, mate? Yeah, right, I'm going now, mate. Front, uh, your back, your, your is it? No, but I'm going to now, just back and see what happens. I'll try front one. Yeah, there's not a lot of weight on your back um, wheels, mate. They're, just, they're lifting a little bit, it's slipping. I don't think we're pulling that out, mate. So that's um, that's both diff locks in first gear low range, I'm just sitting near spinning. I think a lot of weight on that boat. Um, trailer's currently sitting on the drawbar, so we're just trying to drag the whole thing up the bank. I think we're going to have to get the Ranger and hook the Ranger on the front of the Cruiser at the same time, um, or maybe even just park the Ranger and winch off the Ranger. Might work. But yeah, nothing else to winch off around here, so. I think we need to get your car, man. Oh, it's it's on this route, man. At one point, it seemed like it was going to fucking move, eh? That's going to fuck us. That is fucking us. We'll right, separate that off as well, eh? Right, I reckon we're going to go. Just kind of got my car from the other side. Nosed up for Stevie's. We're going to run the winch out and pull him while he's trying to drive. I just got the new MCC bull bar. And to disengage the winch so you can just freeze pull it out, they've got these little doors on the front. Same so having to try to get around it. I reckon they're pretty nifty. And then you just get in there, put that up, and that can pull out. Hi oh man, I am car started, first be low range, um, pull off a bit of tension eh? Hi oh mate, I'm just going to um, take some tension on the winch and then you just go, you let me know, you can talk on the radio telling me when you're going. Yep, winch, winch, winch. I am. We're out. Too easy mate, that was good, just a little extra help from the ranger. We're out Mark. Yep. It wasn't too bad. We weren't getting out there by ourselves, but just a little bit of tension from the Ranger on the winch, and uh, once it popped up over that edge, um, it came out pretty quickly. Back on all four wheels, ready to hit the road. Time to pack up camp. Hey, you should check this crab pot. Hey, there's a crab in there. And the catfish, as per usual. Whoa. What are you, male? Yeah, a little male crab. We'll have to chuck the scales on him, but he looks pretty good. There you go. Throw the measure on him and hopefully he's dinner tonight. Hey, crab man. Moment of truth. Unfortunately, he's undersized. Not by much. Probably six millimeters undersized. His lucky day. See you, little fella. On a scale of sort of good to bad, it's not a bad camp. Close. Midges, midges, sharp. The fishing's there. If we had a few more days to work it out, we would sort that out. 
Contact. There's crabs in there, and yep. there's, no one, there's no one else here, and there's no rubbish. Yep, exactly. Cool. It's really good. So we'll stop back through the station, let them know we're coming out okay, tell them there's no fish in any of the creeks that they need to worry about, and then uh, we're going to go to Normanton and um, fill up with fuel, and then we're heading north from here up to Mitchell River, sort of our goal. Just put in the Dalton. Time to grab some fuel. Also, we realised we hadn't pumped our tyres up, so we'll pump the tyres up here as well and uh, do a quick map scout and um, find out tonight's location. Mate, what do your feet look like, Mark? Steve's got a feet foot, foot fetish. He always wants to know how my feet look. So we've just taken a turn off to up towards Dunbar Station. Um, so we've got about 230, 250 k's to get up there. The goal tonight is to get across the Mitchell River. So we're not sure if we're going to be able to cross the Mitchell at Dunbar, if it's been repaired since wet season. But uh, we're about to find out. Uh, if we can get across there, we're going to cross the Savo and make camp on the other side, ready to head north. So that is the plan. We've never driven this road before. We, I don't know if it's actually all dirt or all tar or what, tar so far, so fingers crossed there's nice long sections of tar and we get up there pretty quickly and make camp before the sun goes down. Uh, just got to the Mitchell River crossing and uh, we're not crossing. There's a bit of a hole there. There's a small hole. Someone we... someone mentioned to us that the road was in need of repair and we probably wouldn't be able to cross. What they failed to mention <laughs> is there's a, there's a asteroid sized bloody chasm. <laughs> Mate, we could probably cross, but it, it would take the boat. We'd need to put the boat in. The only thing crossing that's a boat. Correct. <laughs> it's in need of minor repair. Yeah, we should have brought more Max trucks. Yeah. <laughs> Put them together on a rope. Yeah. Oh, thanks for watching. We're just going to camp here and have a beer. Yeah, we're going to go and crack a beer, for sure. For sure. So then after this, the plan is to um, head inland a bit more. Yep. And then continue up the Cape. That's it, mate. And we're going to go all the way to the tip. Yep. Do a couple more floats in a tinny. Correct. We're going to um, drop the big boat off and it's going to be more tinny float stuff. Yep. More full driving. Going to try and do the old telly track. Yeah, the next 10 or so episodes yep. will be two floats, old telly track, get to the tip, and a, a few bits and pieces we've got lined up in the middle there. So, thanks for thanks, watching. Yeah, thanks for your support. And um, yeah, leave heaps of comments and hit the thumbs up button. Cheers, guys. Is. You can start thinking. Yeah. Hope they won't see me dance, dance.